Okay, so um, this video is going to be uh, a little introduction into how you might um, have variables, which are actual color variables, which allow you to control um, uh, color in your program based on activity on the screen or based on the value of some of the variables you're keeping track of in your program. So um, in this program, um, I'm, I'm using a program which we've already been using throughout this series, um, which is um, the one where Zargon chases Boron, and we talked about this with the um, Boolean intersection, um, the intersection code and the Boolean um, turning pictures on or off code. So it's that same uh, same lesson. So if I run this, you can see what it does. If I run this right now, the program runs across in Zargon, starts going towards Boron, and eventually he hits Boron and Boron disappears, and I get 50 points. Okay, and so um, what we can do is, um, why don't we have the background change color um, as uh, Zargon approaches Boron. So we'll have like a, you know, maybe we'll have um, a uh, um, a point at which when he crosses this point it turns to red, when it crosses this point it turns to blue, when it crosses this point it turns to green, or something like that, just for fun to show you how it can be used. Okay, so we will go up to the top and we're actually going to create a, a variable. This is kind of weird. It's a color variable. Okay, and um, it, it's a color is an actual word, capital C. We're going to call it BG color. How about that? BG for background and color for color. Okay, and because this is a multi word variable, just like sprite batch or score font, um, the second word has to be capitalized. So BG color. Okay, and so um, BG color. Um, is going to take on, um, so it's the initial value of it will be, uh, I don't know, BG color. Um, uh, ooh, actually, sorry, let's let it be color dot blue. How about that? We'll let the initial value of BG color be uh, blue. Okay, um, so if we run this right now, we run it, and it's still that cornflower blue variable uh, value that it's always been because while we have created a variable to handle it, so what we haven't done is actually use that variable in our code. So if you think about where the line of code is, which alters the background color, it's way down here, um, and it is this line of code right here. Okay, and so uh, the, the graphics device clear command will take any argument right here as long as it's a color, either a color dot and then the, uh, uh, the, the one of the names of one of the values, or a variable which is a color. And so we made a variable called BG color. Okay, so it says, okay, cool. So BG color is currently uh, blue. I think that's a dark blue. We'll try that. We'll run this. And yeah, there is a little bit do different. Okay. Um, and so just for fun to make sure we're right about this, we can change this to red and see if that changes to, yeah, there we go. Okay, so it changes. All right, so you see how that can work. Okay, so let's actually have um, a series of possible colors that it might be. And we can just, just for fun, we'll just choose red, green, blue, whatever. Okay, so um, we know that Zargon is moving across the screen very slowly, and his, um, his, his ZX coordinate, his X coordinate, is going up by one continuously. Okay, and um, I think, I forget where he's starting. He's starting at 50. Okay, and then um, the he goes all the way up to uh, I think boron is located at 600, so he it takes him a while to get over there. So why don't we do this? Why don't we say hey, Zargon, um, if Zargon X ever hits, uh, he starts at 50. We'll say 150. Okay, oop, gotta use my double equal sign. Okay, if Zargon, if the va if the x value of Zargon, which starts at 50 and goes up by one continuously, ever hits 150, then let's change the value of the background color to, I don't know, um, color dot uh, pink. All right, and let's say if Zargon ever hits 350, then we'll change the color <coughs> to color dot orange okay and then if Zargon X equals 450 which is right before he takes over the big guy <coughs> all right equals color dot um, I don't 
that. Let's look in here. How about mint cream? All right, that works. Oops, forgot my double equal sign. There we go. Okay, and so what we've just done, we've just changed the value of a variable. It's not a number variable. Um, it's not a, a string or a series of letters. It's an actual color. So it has, so it's, it's, it's only values can be color values. So uh, if we run this, it should go from, I think it starts out as red, goes to pink, goes to orange, goes to mint cream. We'll see if it actually does that. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, it does that. So you can see how you might um, actually use color uh, to help communicate some um, action or activity or conditions in your game.